What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys another banger of a video for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet ranked double battles. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Pokemon that I have not used on the channel for Scarlet and Violet. We got ourselves a Vaporeon team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we got Vaporeon today and then we have also another one of my favorites. We got ourselves a Breloom on this team. We also got the Tatsugiri and Dondoza combo and then probably the strongest combo in the game, Fluttermane and Chiyu. Hopefully we get the rock out with this team, grab some wins for you guys. But Dantozo is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Everybody knows Dantozo is him. But again, Tatsugiri is not being paired with it. It is being paired with the Vaporeon. So it's kind of here just to throw off our opponents because Tatsugiri has Storm Drain, not Commander. Dantozo has gotten aware the Citrus Berry as its item, Body Press, Heavy Slam, Protect, and Avalanche for its moveset. We got Tatsugiri in that second slot with Storm Drain, which is an amazing ability for itself, and the choice specs as its item. It's got Surf, it has Muddy Water, Icy Wind, and Dragon Pulse. We're going to cut down to Vaporeon because I kind of want to talk about Vaporeon after Tatsugiri because they go hand in hand. Vaporeon's got the Water Absorb and Assault Best as its item. It also has Surf, which we can actually send a Surf across the field. Dealing damage to our ally Pokemon, but with Tatsugiri next to it, we will get a Storm Drain boost. So that will give it a special attack boost and make Tatsugiri do a ridiculous amount of damage. So cannot wait to pair both these Pokemon up. And plus, Tatsugiri can also surf onto Vaporeon and heal itself up because it has the Water Absorb ability. Really, really cool combo. Super excited to be showing it. Vaporeon also has Ice Beam and Shadow Ball for two coverage moves, which I really like on that Pokemon also. We got Fluttermane and Chiyu on this team. I don't even think I have to say anything about it. They are so normal in the Series 3 meta that you guys have seen it plenty of times. It's right on the screen if you guys want to check it out. Final Pokemon for today's team is going to be Breloom. We actually just recently used Breloom, but I absolutely love this Pokemon and don't mind using it again because it is so cool and very strong at the same time. It's got Technician as its ability, Mach Punch for first turn priority, Bullet Seed for uh, Stab and Technician boost, and then we got Protect and Spore to put Pokemon to sleep. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Tatsugiri and Vaporeon Series 3 team. First match is coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team, yet really powerful looking team. Bruxious, Colossal, and Luxray. I feel like the Bruxious probably learns Aqua Jet, right? And he wants to go Aqua Jet Colossal. I mean... I don't mind it too much. I don't mind too much. I could go Vaporeon here, and I can also go Tatsugiri, which I really don't mind. I kind of like this lead. So you know what? I'm going to end up leading them. If they want to go Luxray, that's totally fine. I could end up Thrasilizing the Pokemon and kind of getting after it that way. But yeah, I'm going to go Vaporeon. I'm going to go Tatsugiri. This team looks like it's going to be a pain, yet a lot of fun to go up against. So I'm going to bring the Chiyu Fluttermane combo in the back end. It's always good. It is always super strong. And I didn't even see that, that this Chiyu has Choice Scarf. Pretty awesome though, pretty awesome though. But they could also lead the Town Flame. I wouldn't mind if they set up a Tailwind. I mean, we can kind of just get after it that way. But what I'm scared of is the Colossal and Bruxious, right? Bruxious got to have like Aqua Jet. I feel like it has to, right? There's no way you have Colossal. Actually, it might not have Aqua Jet. It might not. Because if you're going to proc Weakness Policy and Steam Engine on Colossal, you kind of want to use a Pokemon that's not going to hit so hard. And Bruxious seems to stab water. I feel like you would rather just go into a different Pokemon from there, but you never know. Let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Colossal and Bruxia, so now it's telling me it has Aqua Jet, right? It just screams, I have Aqua Jet. Um, okay. I feel like from here, we should just double surf. Do I Terrastalize you? Probably not. I think double surf is just our play. I think double surf is our play. I don't think he Terrastalizes Colossal. He might just protect Colossal. I'm terrified of Bruxious right here. I really am. He just protects Colossal. Okay. So let's see what Bruxious is up to. He's going to ice me. He's going to slow me down a little bit. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. He's going to slow me down a little bit. I mean, you are already kind of faster than me to begin with. Not my Tatsugiri. But at this point, I am going to Surf. I'm going to hit up on Bruxious a little bit. Probably do like no damage, but more importantly, get these Storm Dream boosts. The special attack boost is lovely. I could actually just straight up swap my uh my tattoo if i want to i could swap my tattoo could definitely do that but i have water absorb i get some hp back i do have a salt vest which is really really good oh 
Wow, Tatsu's doing some big time damage. I kind of want to swap Tatsu. I kind of want to swap Tatsu, maybe just go into a muddy water. Lower accuracy, but it is better all around. I could go into a Shadow Ball and just finish this thing off. But I think I am going to go muddy water, and I'm thinking of just swapping this Pokemon for like Fluttermane or something. Or do I just leave the Tatsu in here? I say we just leave the Tatsu in here. I say we double surf. Even though we're slower, I just think it's my play. I'm going to double surf. I'm double surfing. Let's see what he ends up doing here. So again, I'm terrified of this Colossal. He's going to end up Terrasalizing. I was going to throw an Ice Beam into him. That kind of hurts that we didn't. I was going to launch an Ice Beam in this because I knew it's Grass Terra. It's actually ground. Okay, so EQ is coming in hot here. I mean, I'm not too worried about the EQ. Because uh, I think Vaporeon should be able to eat. But Ice Beam's going to fly. Oh, that's a weird Terra, man. I, I, I'm waiting for like the weakness policy to proc. I'm really waiting for it. So I want to see what Colossal is going to do here. He's going to just EQ. He's going to take out his Bruxious. Uh, my Vaporeon's definitely eating this up. I don't know about my Tatsu, though. Oh, we both eat up. See you later. See you later. Colossal's done for, which is awesome. I get Surf off here. I get another plus one boost. More importantly, Tatsu's going to go, and he's going to heal up Vaporeon, which is awesome. And on top of that, he is going to KO this Colossal. That's huge. That is huge. So we weakness policy, we uh, steam engine boost. It's all good. It's no big deal considering you are gone. So Tatsu and Vaporeon absolutely doing work right now. Absolutely doing work. More HP, the better. We still have Assault Vest making this thing really, really bulky. And we're going to say bye bye to Colossal. So that's a strong start for us. We still have one of the strongest combos for Series 3 in the back end. So I really like where we're sitting. Plus my Tatsu's plus 2 with choice specs. With choice specs. So that's going to come his final two Pokemon. We're just going to start trying to do as much damage as we possibly can to him and getting off as much value as we can as well. So Luxray is going to come out here alongside with who? Shen Pao. Okay, so we're definitely dead here, right? My Vaporeon is definitely dead. I mean, Intimidate comes out. I'm not really too worried here, right? I'm not anything crazy worried. Let me see your Terror type. It's going to be Fairy. Okay, yeah. So we can probably just let both these Pokemon die out here and then come in hot with our, our guys. I think that's our play. So I'm just going to go for another Surf. Actually, what does more damage? I don't even think it matters. They both do the same. So I'm just going to go for two two more Surfs. Let him do his other thing. He probably goes for a Sucker Punch or an Ice Spinner into my Tatsugiri. And then Wild Charges and KOs me. That's totally fine. I don't mind. I don't mind again. I do not mind both these Pokemon going out here because I still feel we definitely have this battle locked up. And he's gonna go for a Volt Switch, which I should be able to soak. Awesome. So I get off some. I get some value back here. I get some free value. Big time damage. Me. Poor rounds don't work. And do I just go in the choice? I could go in the choice. I mean, it doesn't really matter who I go into. So I get a speed boost from here, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna go into uh. Fluttermane, Terrasalize, pop a nice little gleam. Wrap it up. Solid first match from us. Vaporeon and Tatsugiri showcase in match number one. I love it. There's nothing I like more than winning match number one, except for I like winning match number one and showcasing like the prime parts of the team. I really like that. So I'm going to switch to Muddy Water. I'm going to Terrasalize, go straight into a gleam. And I believe they cancel battle. They cancel battle. Let's get it. What a way to get started with today's video. We're sitting 1-0, but we got ourselves an Eeveelution matchup. We got Vaporeon on my side versus their Sylveon. They also have Ting Lu, Shen Pao, and Dragonite combo. Then they are rocking out with Vivleon and Fluttermane. So Vivleon is pretty fast. I know it usually rocks Focus Hash. I kind of just want to go into Chiyu Fluttermane. I think that is our best bet. I think we get after it pretty strongly. I mean, they do have... Uh, Ting Lu, which is a little bit of a problem, makes me want to bring down Dozo in the back end. Just want to see its moves one more time. It doesn't have a water move. That sucks, man. Why, why, don't, why aren't we rocking a water move? But, I mean, it's not too bad. It's just very defensively bulked and has body press heavy slam. I can actually still deal with that. So, I'm going to go into Don Dozo. And then, last but not least, so I go in more so with like Breloom, first turn priority Pokemon. Or do I go in with a bulky Vaporeon? I mean, bulky Vaporeon is not bad at all. We got that vest, which I really, really like. I mean,. It's, it has four times super effective move on to Dragonite. But Breloom's sick. I'm going to go Vaporeon. I'm going to get Vaporeon out here again. I am going to get Vaporeon out here, which I really like. Maybe I should have went Breloom. Maybe I shouldn't have. It's all good. We showcased Breloom, what was it, like two videos ago? So we're packing in some Vaporeon content. And plus, I'll use Vap uh, Breloom in the next match. I just feel like I could have went either or, but I really, really like Vaporeon a bit more. Due to its assault best bulkiness. And they have Fluttermane. 
So Fluttermane and Sylveon come out for their lead, and we're going to lead Chi Yu and Fluttermane, which I really, really like. So my Fluttermane is completely maxed out on speed. If there's not boost or energy, we will have speed over it. I have my choice scarf on my Chi Yu. I know that's gonna be faster than all their Pokemon. And okay. My my boost energy came out first, because that's a sign, that's a sign that I'm faster. Unless it's a speed tie, that's the only way. But uh, I'm gonna end up terrestrializing and just going into a Dazzling Gleam here. Simple play, alongside with the Heat Wave, I just feel like, I feel like this can't be stopped, right? I feel like this can't be stopped. I feel like we just go into it, right? It just seems too easy. Come on, man, that's too easy. <laughs> Don't wanna get ahead of myself here, but that just seems like an easy kill on the Fluttermane, right? Because I know both my Pokemon out speed. Well, I know my Chi Yu. It could be a speed tile of Fluttermane, but chances are my Fluttermane is faster than theirs. And their Fluttermane just protects. Okay. I can deal with that. I don't mind it too much. I don't mind it too much. Dash and Clean is going to fly. It's going to do some decent damage on Sylveon. I know it is a bit bulkier than most. And I'm hoping Chi Yu could finish, but yeah, no way. I think it's super bulky. I think it's just... A big time bulk. Absolute menace. And we get a crit. We That's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate getting lucky crits on opponents sometimes when I don't need them. But we'll take it. I'll take it all day. <laughs> but Tingle is going to come out here. And that kind of screws me over a little bit, right? I mean, it kind of makes it neutral. I feel like we can still try to get rid of you. And at this point, I am going to go... Do I stick with Gleam? Or do I go Shadow Ball? I feel like there's a chance it terrestrializes. So I'm gonna stick with Gleam here. And I gotta stick with Heat Wave, considering I'm choosing to that. So good thing I did stick with Gleam. I think he's terrestrialized to the Fluttermane here. Cause I was gonna Shadow Ball on the Fluttermane. And no, he opts to uh, go into Ting Lu. Probably Poison. Straight Fairy Ting Lu. All right, I see you. I feel you. I understand. I understand. So let's see how this goes down with the Fluttermane. I'm hoping we can just get rid of Fluttermane, but with Ting Lu on the field, it kind of neutralizes some of the damage that we're going to do. Maybe we get another crit. It could be awesome. We do not get another crit, but still, big time damage. We love it. He's going to end up gleaming. I definitely should have just Shadow Ball into it. And he's just going to EQ. So he's going to take out all the Pokemon on the field. All the Pokemon on the field. Gone. Ting Lu takes him out and he gets a crit, but I don't think it really mattered. But cool, we get rid of the Fluttermane. It turns into a 2v2, so now we have a match. Should be a good one. We still have Dondozo, which is really good for Heavy Slam. And I think that is a big, big part of this team. We got Dondozo, we have Vaporeon at the same time. Vaporeon can outbulk most. Heavy Slam actually works perfectly as I was just dogging on it. <laughs> I was just like, in the beginning, I was like, oh, we have Heavy Slam, we don't have a water move. Heavy Slam works perfect here. I'm loving it. So we go in with my big boy Catfish. He goes in with Shen Pao. Shen Pao's a little scary. And we're going to go in with our lovely Vaporeon. Now, what's called would have been awesome here. Breloom. Breloom could have just mock punched down. But I feel like we have to just go straight Heavy Slam. Actually, what does more damage? The higher the user's defense stat, the greater the damage of this move deals. Um, heavy Slam. The more we outweigh. I mean, I can double down into Shen Pao here, which I think might be my best bet. Just get rid of Shen Pao. I think that's my best bet, just to get rid of Shen Pao. I'm gonna Muddy Water across the board, too. But Shen Pao protects, of course it protects. Oh! Of course Shen Pao protects, that kinda hurts. He's gonna get off another EQ. That hurts that Shen Pao just protected. That really did me dirty. That really did me dirty. Give me an accuracy drop. You get the accuracy drop. I'll take that. Rumination comes through and he misses it. Okay, so now we're sitting fine. Now we're sitting pretty good. Accuracy drop coming in clutch. Makes a miss of ruination. So from here, now we're just going to double back down into Shen Pao. And we're going to try to get rid of it. Muddy Water. Body Press. Let's do it. Suck the Punch. Going to fly through here. Did a lot of damage. Vaporeon's able to soak though, which is good. He is orbed. And Muddy Water's going to deal some damage. But Body Press is going to pick up the KO. Actually, you outspeed me, which is weird. Really Dondozo should be able to clean up this match pretty finely. But Dondozo soaks pretty well. Body Press is going to finish off Shen Pao, and now it's a 1v1, and Don Dozo is going to be able to clutch this up. One Heavy Slam should be able to get rid of this thing, though. My boy Don Dozo clutches it up. My man, Donnie D, we'll call him. Donnie D with the clutch. My man, Pots and Pants. Unless you got Fisher. I'll see you guys later.
Na 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 no 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 what 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 was that what was that that is so ridiculous that I just lost to that Fisher right there honestly that was just a heartbreaker I was sitting there I was like yeah this game's over Donnie D with the clutch and then I thought to myself I was like unless this thing has Fisher and as I say that the text pops up Ting Lu use Fisher. And it just lands. I'm like, nope, out of here, done. Are you kidding me? What is that? What is that? That's actually funny, though. That is funny. So hopefully you guys still do enjoy it. I definitely should have won that match. Played really well. But third and final match coming at you guys. Let's focus on this one. They got a pretty cool team. They got the Chiyu Flutter main. I might have to go Chiyu Flutter main of my own. Um, They also have Murkrow, which I believe Murkrow might actually come in here for lead. And with that being said, I could go... Vaporeon alongside with Tatsu. And you know what? I'm going to do that. Actually, I want to bring Breloom in this match. So I'm going to bring Breloom and I'm just going to bring Chiyu by itself. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. We're going to bring Chiyu by itself. But come on, man. What, what, what was that? What was that last match? I was just Poke Eyes being like AO Jeans. I need you to calm down just a little bit. I need you to not get ahead of yourself in some matches because. But come on. Like, you guys know I should have won that match. Hands down, should have won that match. Fisher comes out of nowhere. Like, come on, what is that? What is that? But we end up going in these two, which is a pretty solid lead here. I don't mind this lead. I do not mind this lead. And from here, this is just a simple double serve, just like in match number one. Nice little double serve action. So we're gonna surf. We're gonna surf again. And she might just protect here, which I, I wouldn't mind too much. Might even terrestrialize. I would rather terrestrialize, waste it. And that's exactly what's gonna do. It is going to terrestrialize. But you terrestrialize in what type? Probably grass. You have grass? Of course you got grass. Of course he has grass. I mean, I have ice cream to kind of deal with that, but kind of annoying. Of course you have Thunderbolt here as well. But Thunderbolt comes out here. It's doing some big time damage. And he's going to try to take out my Vaporeon. Can you eat this Vaporeon? Can you eat this Vaporeon? I think you should. Atta girl. Got a crit too. Ooh, RNG's really falling off. I had it for a little bit. Had it for a little bit. I get a nice Storm Drain boost, which is big. We should be able to get rid of Gold to go, which is nice. But it really does suck that this thing had like the most perfect terror type up against me. So we get rid of Gold to go. Cool. Very, very scared. Um, hmm. And I have Prelim in the back, which Prelim, eh. Don't be okay. I mean, if they bring out Flutter, I mean, we have a little bit of a problem. Yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. But I feel like from here, we just kind of let these guys go out. I mean, I'd rather just Shadow Ball you. Because I have Chiyu with my Choice Scarf, which is really good for us. And I'll just Surf. I'll just Surf. Trying to get off as much damage on the Flutter main. But yeah, this is just an easy double kill for our opponent. Maybe, hopefully, he ends up missing some sort of attack. Maybe go to the Heat Wave. And we can kind of go from there. And now he's 6 with Terabyte. That makes me think he could potentially be Choice. Which I really hope not. But my play from here is going to be Spore the Flutter main and Terrastalize and just Heat Wave and Terrastalize the. Uh... Actually, do I even Terrastalize Breloom? Do I even Terrastalize Breloom? That's a real question. I think I just use Sash. I think I Terrastalize Chi Yu. Because the order of attack is probably going to go my Chi Yu, then like his Flutter main or Chi Yu. But if my if my if my Chiyu lands his heat wave, I think terrestrializing him in the grass is gonna be perfect. Cause I can take out his Chiyu, then I can take less damage from whatever move he's using. Um, yeah, I kinda like that. I can kinda get down with that. Actually no. I'm gonna wait to use it. I'm just gonna go here and I might just terrestrialize this thing rock. Now you know what we're just gonna sport. We're not gonna we're not even gonna waste a trash slice just yet. He ends up protecting the flutter main, which I don't I don't mind that turn. I don't mind. My Chiyu should be scarf out speeding. It does. Can we please land his heat wave? Just get rid of a Chiyu. Do me a favor. My man, my goldfish. My goldfish. Alright. So now we're sitting in a 2v2 position. Um hmm, we still have Terra. We still have Terra. 
And this is exactly why I want to save it. Actually works out pretty good here. It really depends who he goes into. But I still have Sash on my Breedlin as well. Sash Breedlin. Murkrow's gonna come out here. Um, ooh. Ooh. How do I feel about that? I think we still Spore. I think we still Spore. I think we Terrasalize and then we Spore. That's exactly on window. I need to put this thing to sleep. I need to put the Fluttermane to sleep. The thing is, if I can survive this turn and have one more turn left, I feel like we... If we can land this Spore, right? I feel like we should be fine. Sunny Day comes out here, and that's fine. That, that gives me... That gives me the what's it called. That gives my Breloom a guaranteed Spore. Heat Wave is going to fly here and actually boost my Heat Wave. Wow. That should be game. Oh, and we get the burn. That's game set match. That's game set match. So we get screwed over match number two. Breloom's going to be able to come in here, back in here. Clutch it up a little bit. But we actually can't Spore him anymore, which kind of sucks. That almost did me dirty. That almost did me so dirty. Actually, oh no, we're good, we're good. We're totally good, and our opponent just turns off console. <laughs> we love it, we love it. That burn almost did me dirty. That almost did me dirty, because I couldn't put him to sleep. But hey, 2-1, we take that winning record all day. Gotta love it. Using an off-meta Vaporeon and Breloom team with Storm Drain, Tatsugiri, and grabbing ourselves a winning record. Granted, it should have been a perfect record. Still a little salty about that loss, but hey, we take that on chin and we just laugh about it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that bigger subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.